Hey guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and I have my hands on a retail packaged HTC One M9. Now this is the international unlocked version and I'm going to unbox it and give you my first impressions. So let's get straight into it. Now of course this is our first look at the device in its packaging and our first look since we had a proper feel of the phone at Mobile World Congress. And it's thanks to 3, the UK carrier that we've been able to get hold of a review unit. Now the packaging is minimal with handset branding only, there's no phone image, it's very clean, it's got these dots all over the screen and I like it a lot. And if we peek under the hood and take a look inside, as always the phone is on top. But we'll place that to one side as usual and take a look at the contents of the box. As always it contains the literature which is the quick start guide, some warranty and regulatory information as well as some other stuff you're probably never going to read. There's also a USB to micro USB cable which is neatly packaged and an almost iconic pair of earphones which like many HTC One series phones in the past has red earbuds. You also get your power adapter in the box as well. Mine is obviously the UK model. Yours will look different depending on your location. But if we pack it all away, then we can get to our first look at the device itself. First we power it on and we get a glimpse at the full HD 5 inch LCD panel. On the top edge of the phone there's a transparent black plastic panel which hides the infrared beamer that you can use to control your TV and other devices in your lounge. But on the front is the aforementioned display and that's surrounded by quite a thick black bezel inside the metal front. Joining the screen on the front is an HTC Ultra Pixel camera as well as the two Dolby powered boom sound speakers which HTC promises will give us a surround sound feel. On the bottom edge is a micro USB port and a 3.5mm headset jack. On the right edge there are individual buttons now for the volume and the power sleep key has been moved onto that side as well. We also have the micro SD card tray for expanding your storage. On the left edge the gold finish is virtually interrupted except for the SIM tray and those plastic antenna bands on the top and the bottom. And those bands continue along the curved brushed metal back. And that finish is really really nice to look at just like it was in the last generation. But also on the back is a 20 megapixel camera, it's f-stop 2.2 with 4K video recording. Other specifications of the device include a Snapdragon 810 octa-core processor and that's a 64-bit chip and that's paired with 3 gigabytes of RAM. There's 32 gigabytes of inbuilt storage and as we've already mentioned you can expand that storage and you can go up to 128 gigabytes by using a micro SD card. The software running on this new device of course is Android Lollipop 5.0 and it has HTC Sense UI 7 on top. Now in terms of size and dimensions it's comparable to the Moto X though it's noticeably narrower and not quite as thin at its thinnest points on the side and the bottom edge. Overall then the HTC One M9 at least on first impressions is a very capable device although it's only a slight improvement on the M8. It feels fast and fluid, the design and the quality of the materials feels really well made and well put together. Although with that new 810 octa-core chip I did notice that it got a little bit warm when I was watching videos and using the phone for just a few minutes. Of course I'm going to need to test it properly to see if the overheating really is an issue like they say it is. So as first impressions go everything is pretty much as I expected. Now I'm going to have some more time with this taking pictures, using it in day to day life and I'll hopefully be able to bring you some thoughts at a later date but I know Marco also has a unit and he'll be bringing you the full review. I've been Cam, I'm at phone dog underscore Cam on Twitter, you can follow me, ask me any questions and of course you can use the comment section down below and I will see you again soon.